More than 70 years ago, it started like this. A single picture was drawn, and then another, and another, until several hundred or thousands were created, colored, and photographed to produce film animation. And since every picture was drawn individually, the animator could create just about anything, provided he had the time, patience, and budget. In the late 60s, the application of analog computers to provide limited animation through manipulation of video signals was an important step in bringing production schedules and costs under control. But this method lacks the flexibility and creative control of cell animation. Today, there's a completely new approach using digital computers, specifically designed to parallel the film cell process. The animator draws the key pictures and defines the flow of action, always maintaining complete artistic control. Then the computer takes over, drawing and coloring each of the in-between frames, the costly and time-consuming non-creative bottleneck in film cell animation. The finished sequence is assembled under computer control for release on two-inch quad videotape. The result is video cell animation. It takes a lot of pictures to create good animation. The secret of video cell is who draws them. The artist drew just these two pictures. The computer drew the rest. The same principles apply to more complex animation. These four black and white drawings are the basic art for the following animation. This sequence runs more than 500 frames, requiring more than 250 pictures, all drawn and colored by the computer. Seventeen seconds of animation from just four drawings. Can video cell work with key art drawn by a top animator with no knowledge of computer-assisted animation? These four drawings were used in the film production of Raggedy Ann and Andy. They were the input art for a test designed to show the capability of video cell to handle the very best in figure animation. This cell was used only for color reference, and the computer produced this segment. Now let's look at what it takes to put video cell to work to make a 30 second commercial. First, the black and white line art to define the elements, and the storyboard that shows how the elements will move. Think of all the valuable services First Bank has created for you. Super 6 savings certificates and Super 7, everyday interest savings, cash power loans, and First Bank's flex loan, carefree checking, money maker time deposits, and Profit Maker Savings for Business. Tell Money Timely Tips on Money Matters. New branch offices. We now have 14 convenient locations. First Bank, with you all the way. What will they think of next? All art enters the video cell system as a black and white line drawing, but it doesn't stay that way for long. Each area is assigned a color, which becomes part of its description in the computer. After the artist has made basic choices, he is free to change the color in any area or to change all the areas of a given color at the same time, and it takes only seconds. The selection starts here, with this basic palette of more than 200 colors, but that's far from the limit. If the artist should need a special color to match a product, package, or corporate logo, he can custom mix any of 250,000 colors. For instance, this owl art came with PMS chips for color reference, and the exact colors were selected. Now, let's look at some examples of how these video cell features have been put to work.
here are some special dimensional effects. 3D, rotations, and video cell slit scan. And if you'll watch that American Eagle in the corner, we'll make him fly. Leo Burnett of Puerto Rico chose video cell to tell how the Dewar's Scotch bottle and its label evolved to their present form. Photos, labels, and print art provided the starting point for this spot. A través de los años adquirió fama en el mundo entero y cambió a esta botella transparente. Fue nombrado proveedor de la Casa Real y todo el mundo lo aclamó distinguiéndolo con medallas de oro y premios. Por su sabor, por su calidad, por su excelencia. 50 premios que mencionamos en nuestra etiqueta. Aún se hace en Escocia, con el mismo cuidado y la misma dedicación de hace más de 130 años. Usted sabe que es el auténtico Scotch suave. Dewar's White Label. De mi copa llénala, ponle un hielo y otro más. Pon White Label en mi copa y volvamos a empezar. Nobody flies to more of this land than United Airlines. Ho, ho, ho! Well, almost nobody. Merry Christmas from the friendly skies. <laughs>